So, we're getting some pearls on the bottom of the sea. Well, I took the rock elemental with me. That seemed to be an interesting thing to try. Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Construction Adventures with me, Scriptar. I can tell you one thing, it feels so weird wearing normal, air quotes, armor again. Definitely does. And we need to upgrade to metal at some stage. But for now, there's stuff. Let's have a look around. First of all, we have walls. And small behemoth gates, I think they are called. Let's have a look. Jump. 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 Hi. Uh, these. Small, stone small behemoth gate thing. Name? Stone small behemoth gate. Yeah, that's the one. Fits right in here. Has no, no beam over the top, which is quite nice, so you don't get stuck on that. And it auto closes after 10 seconds. You can change that in the radio menu to like 25 seconds if you want. Uh, these walls snap to each other. But if you move far away to the right or left, they, they also stack in each other, like this one, and I can make them stack even more if I wanted to. Um, so, they are nice, they are really nice. You can have them snap whenever they want to snap, and if you have a height difference and you don't want a gap at the bottom or something, just move a little farther in K-Mode, and then they are still perfectly aligned. That looks good, so everything that was over there, like our little house and all of that, that's gone. Uh, the taming pen has moved over here, which is aligned with that wall, like... That's, I think, three foundations that would fit in here or something like that. Uh, those foundations don't snap to these walls, but when half foundations ever snap to walls, right? So, no worries. Um, it's a little... <laughs> little too much vegetation in here for my taste. But then again, I can just turn down the ground clutter if I want it, right? For the moment, I just leave it as it is. I might turn it down later when we start decorating, and we actually do want to only see stuff that we place down. Since those are entities and not just ground clutter, they should render in uh, regardless. Well, we'll see. We'll have a look. Also, these... You can cycle the, um, the material out of which um, the, the statues are made. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. Marble looks gorgeous, I think. I, I saw that at Bowden Space. Ah, uh, that white. Yeah, and I think you can color all of these foundations and stuff as well. Uh, we will have a look into that a little later. This is just for construction. This is nothing to be fancy. Um, you see, even there, there's a gap in the wall there and stuff. I don't care. <laughs> this is usually not me, but I, I don't really care. Also, since we're here... <sighs> Alright. Maybe that one? <laughs> Do you actually need more than one tractor? That's interesting. Need to get into the uh, 30 CC darts and all of that stuff soon. Once we have materials. Why am I shooting this dodo? Why do we need poop? Yeah, that's better. Here, have veggies. That should be enough. Yeah, you should be able to tame up before you lose all that top, alright? We'll see. We come back. Uh, we come back. We come back to you. Uh, move some stuff around. The shed is now down here. Uh, fits nicely in this corner over here. Let's, let me shut that off. Um, yeah, and that that little corner. Uh, the wall is sticking through inward. Don't care. We'll see if we put anything in here. We might as well just put the dodos in here. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, those are for poop collecting because we have resource crops. Remember, and that's one of the first things I really want to get set up. Uh, we might all cooperate on that, because you know how difficult it is to get like a thousand black pearls and that. So if one makes a seed and then another one comes a day later and just, you know, takes a ready seed out of the planted crop plot, that is a good idea, I think. There's the button. So these are planted in a way... already got some growing here with some poop. I don't even know if that works when it's stacked. It says here, use it to split into single poop. I can't use it. Will not poison you. If I use that in my inventory and transfer it over, it stacks, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's not supposed to be a permanent solution anyway. But if we count this, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. If in this part we put the robo beetle, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That should all be fertilized, right? And we have some more space over here. 
and some more over here. So that's what, 12, 24, 36, and this bit. So that's definitely 40 crop plots, maybe even more. And we are going to use... Oh, we are in a cave, we have no greenhouse effect. Yes, we do. Oh, we do. Give me the metal. What's the metal smelting? Now uh, we have some some metal rocks spawning in over there where that trike is. I will see if those spawn back. It looked like they did earlier. So we'll figure that out. Yeah, that's no problem at all. Perfect. Oh, let's see. Uh, this glass. This glass stuff does griff greenhouse effect. See, it says it right there. So I'm gonna do that. I already have a couple. Boards. Let's just put them where they belong. That goes there. One of these is needed. And then obviously we need a ceiling and we also need a slope roof. So what do we need first? I think more slopes. Can we make a slope? Not the ramp, the roof. Mm, let's make two of those and then make sure we also have another ceiling. Uh, I think we need to look into upping crafting speed in general, if that's a thing, if there's a server command or something that, you know, gives a multiplier for crafting speed, because for these stations it's... Ugh, it just takes ages until something gets done. Especially... thank you. Especially when you yourself have 500 crafting speed with the Builder's Helmet, so... I really, really love S+. I mean, this wouldn't work without S+. This wouldn't even snap here because obstruction. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. So we need one more there, plus another slope, and then two more over there. That's okay. Uh, let's start with uh, these. Yeah, why not? We need them anyway. Come on. And then we put on these. As you were. And 300% greenness effect. Perfect. That's perfect. That won't, won't be enough. Uh, we need more. We'll see. We, we might collect some, some some over the course of the day. Also, we don't fall off here. That's good. It's okay. Might even put some railings up here just to make it look nice. I don't know. Something like that is planned. And cycle transparency and all of that. I'm not even going to worry. That's... By default, it's transparent. I don't care, it's just for the greenhouse effect. Uh, we have a water bore attached over there, so we have water everywhere. Can reach here. I do have this this S plus stuff that you can embed in the ceilings there. See, it gives you the, um, the, the water drop there. And these pipes are just attached to those ceilings, and that works quite nicely. I like it. <laughs> Hi. It's been so long since I had a dodo. You're cute. You just stay there. Well, actually, you know, you're in the way wherever you stand, so come over here a little bit. Come here. Actually, you know what? For the moment, I put you to the feeding trough, which is over there. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, how about right here? That's perfect. <laughs> No feeding trough range, that's all I want. I uh, need more. There's dodos running around here everywhere. Oh, thank you. I take that. I need that 2 essen crop plot to be running with the 2 essen seed so we can get some 2 essen so we can make more stuff like 3 essen. Uh, that's my main priority. Get all of this set up. Get all of this working so we can get the first thing. So this is... Uh, 1 Essen, 2 Essen, 3 Essen, 4 Essen, 5 Essen, and then we already have meat, and we already have thatch. And I do want to get into fiber and wood and stone and all of those things really, really quickly. So we can forget about going out, getting all the resources, we just need to go and get them once, and we can do this with a standard metal pick if we have to. Don't need to tame an Enki, don't need to tame a Dodeg or anything, because this time I don't want to tame anything if I don't have to. We have to tame a lot of creatures anyway for the actual biomes that we're going to put up here, so why would we? Alright, that's that. What else are we going to do today? Hmm. I want to finish that. For that I need metal. Metal is still smelting and takes ages to smelt, obviously. I could put down more of these. 
But honestly, the only thing that thing is ever gonna do is do some um, gasoline later on. So, not really interested in extending that. I do want to have the advanced forge, the one from in here. Uh, where is you? There. Oh, there, the electric one, right. 500 metal ingots, 250 crystal, that should be easy to do. 100 oils, also relatively easy to do. There's oil in the lake right behind me. Polymer. Polymer. Uh, there's that penguin island iceberg thing. If a gate there, Boden put down some more gates. Add a crystal sap. Floating island red tower. Dead island blue tower. I think blue tower is close to where that thing is, right? You know what? Let's have a fly around. It's been a while since we've been on the center. Also, I like these railings. You can actually... Um, this, this change material doesn't seem to work here, but you can cycle them. You can have them one half over there, one half over here, or middle, and they do have two snap points. One here and one like here, which is weird. Looks quite nice. So, I need you. Um, hi. 80. I take all the dodos. That's a male one, so we might even get more eggs. And since we have the kibble cooker, we only need one type of egg really to craft all the other kibbles that we might need. So yeah, that's definitely something. We're gonna get like 10 or 20 dodos, put down an egg collector and a poop collector, and then we'll see what happens. All right, uh, where are we? Seven. Let's go... Let's go blue tower. See where that gets us. That's right here. That's community center area, right? Yeah, that should be over there. Load all the things. With that one on that island over there, that's the redwood biome. That's the south border of the map. And then we have the center island way over there. That's that tower. So it's green tower? Seems. And please. Can I? Not what I want, eh? I want. Shut that off. Where is it? There. Why does that take six seconds? I mean, it, it makes sort of sense in the PvP environment. But for PvP environments, you do have a shield, right? I don't know. It's, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, green tower, thank you. Also, you just heard it shut off twice. That's one of the things with this mod um, that, that sound is scheduled to run whenever the thing would shut off normally. So, yeah, you usually get that twice. Oh, wow, wow, low, low. That's definitely the right area. We're between the two snow biomes, one over there and the one over there, and there it finally rendered in. That's Polymer Mountain. What the heck? Oh, that's cool. I thought a crystal in there. That's glowing. Um, one artifact. <laughs> that's water, right? Yeah, that's water. Don't land there. Alright, so this is where we get our polymer. All these. Don't we need it just yet, and we don't have a way to convert it into a regular polymer yet because we don't have that set up. But this is where we will get it, and there's oil here. Don't even don't even have a pick with us. All right, but it's here. That's good. So let me get some stuff prepared, and I meet you right back. So we're getting some pearls on the bottom of the sea. Well, I took the rock elemental with me. That seemed to be an interesting thing to try. Works quite nicely, kills every manta in sight. <laughs> and there seem to be always two nodes here. See, I just harvested one, there's another one right inside it. Also, they do respawn rather quickly, I have the feeling. Um, I took all the metal I had, all the, the iron ore, over to Bowden's base because, well, he's been on the server a while longer, and he already got all the fancy stuff set up, so we have fast smelting over there. And I'm just using some spare time to get all the pearls. Okay. We have 
two and a half thousand pearls. It's perfect. There's more here if I need some. So now we're gonna go back. That looks like open space. Out of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this castle mod, I do need to try that myself. Looks gorgeous. Not gonna spoil too much here. Uh, if if you want to see how this came to be, well then watch his videos. Right? That's how we do. <laughs> now let's see what the metal is doing. Aha. Why are you open? You do close automatically. All right. Uh, we need about 725, I believe, to get all the electronics, to get all the metal, to start making the solar panel and all of that. I could actually make them here. What are you doing there? Go away. Go away. Run. Um, pretty much everything is set up over here. So I could go in and use this bench, and it says we need 150 metal ingots. I have 75 electronics, is another 75 metal ingots, and some pearls, which we have. Uh, cementing paste crystal I do have at home. Might as well use his and bring the resources back. I don't know. We'll see. This is just a uh, little update. Also, remember that poop that wouldn't unstack? Yeah, you have to actually unstack it in your inventory, and then you can transfer it over and it stays uh, a single item instead of a stack. Quite nice. Um, that's roughly our color scheme. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait until this is all done. Uh, I'm gonna start work on the solar panel and maybe the advanced refining forge and a couple other things and then I meet you right back. Alright, the metal is pretty much already gone again. <laughs> I actually had to uh, go and get more metal. See, that stuff is spawning back in. So I had to harvest that twice to get all the metal I needed to get things going. Where do we start? I think we're going to start right here somewhere. Let's start here. I want there to be electricity. Good. Only have one left. Uh, I need that over here, I believe. Yeah, I don't want that standing right there. That's that's bad. I, if anything, somewhere here, that would be good. Come on, look the other way. That would be cool. Thank you very much. That's not working. Perfect. Ugh. Arc. That's working. All right. So that that's done. Now we just need some outlets, right? That should be pretty easy to do. Alright, saved you an embarrassing three minutes there. I was looking for the outlets and I had them on my hotbar. <laughs> so I want the outlets to be where these um, pipes are sticking through. That seems to be nice and evenly distributed. And those pipes should be sticking through where this thing is. Why do I... Why do I have you in my hand? I don't know. So let's see. Be there. From there, there, and obviously can't do here because only reaches up until here. Now let's see if that's actually enough. Well, it should be enough to power you, right? Mm-hmm. That means we can make these ten. Perfect. These we need in a second right over here. Should have all the rest. That's the remaining metal I have. We need 150 of that. Perfect. You done? Almost. Almost. Don't need that, don't need that. Thank you. I just leave that running. It's electricity, who cares? Not like we pay for it, right? So, then we want to have the stove. It's that one. Technically, we do need a fabricator and all that stuff as well, but uh, I can always just, you know, go over to Bowden. Uh, see here. Still don't have a fridge. Um, can go over to Borden and use his equipment for a while. There you go. So, where do we want things? I really like to have cooking and refrigeration just in this little corner over here. That would be cool. But I do want to put this down. Definitely. You just... Uh, right, right over here. And it's on. 
Perfect. That means take all the stuff I've just gathered, throw it in here, and now we can smell it locally. Ah, that's perfect. That's so perfect. Right, this this water tap over there that is an explosive mixture. But yeah, well, it's a water tub that's connected to an electrical outlet, so who cares? Well, that's good. That's working. Now, what I really would like to do is take some some cables. Can't see. Oh, there, right there. Um, no, I want this to be over here. So, what do I need? What? Water. <clears throat> what do I need to make more of these? Uh, what are they called? Internal wiring. Seems like I have what I need. Make two more? I can always go and make more. Yeah. Let's go back up here. Some stage I might even put on a teleporter to get up here. I do want to have a wall of some sort here and then a walkway in. I'm not 100% convinced that that is the way to go, but we will find out together. So this is done with that. Where did you place that? Where the heck? We'll find some worms soon. I'm on top of the smeltery thing. No, I, that's a wood ceiling. That's a wood ceiling. Place that. One, two. Should have reached here, right? That out is there, so that ceiling was already done. That's one, that's two. No, we only made two. That's okay. <laughs> ah, give me more. Thank you. That's all the metal we have left while we're currently smelting up new stuff, so that's good. No need to overly worry. That pick again. Right there. And the last outlet then goes right there. Covering the pipe rather nicely. Could do one more and put it in here. Then connect the cables. Where did you snap? That's crap. I need to snap there. In that way. Can you do that for me? <laughs> no. That's interesting. It works here. Why there? What is wrong so that it snaps there? There's no electricity here. It's just there. And these... They are perfectly aligned. Nothing can happen there. Don't have electricity on that one. That's where the pipe is. What? Okay, first of all, let's make another one. That's the one I want. Do you have power? Yes, you do. The good thing about these is we can hide them afterwards, so it doesn't really matter what they look like. And it seems like we need some more. Yeah, like one, two, let's make it three. And then, obviously, you. And now we can take you. Just put it down here in the corner. Uh, fridges. Maybe put it further over here. I don't know where the fridges are going to be yet. That's that's a thing. Cause pretty much, I want the fridges over here. Like, one, two, three. Or just one. And then the cooker. And then all the rest. But we also don't need to have this too crowded. So might as well just put it in the middle here, right? Which is roughly here. Little twist in, little dirt. That seems to be fairly middle-ish. And you got power. Perfect. Now one of the weird things is this thing can cook your meat, but you can't put the meat back in. Oh well. At least we can cook some stuff and it works as a refrigerator while that stuff is in there. So we should have Feeding drop somewhere. Uh, let's take those. There you go. 
And it's working. 15 per tick. Every 3-4 seconds or so. It's good. Stuff is running. So we are getting there. We can smelt our metal. We have most valuable crafting stations set up. We have food set up. We have water set up. We have main electricity set up. So now it's just a case of waiting for this stuff to be done, which is already done. Perfect. And uh, getting some more and getting ready for a fabricator, a chemistry bench, and all the stuff that's going to go over here. And then, of course, fridges, some lights, maybe hiding the wires once we're done. I don't want to hide them just now. I don't even know if I hide them at all. It's just a bit weird running through here. But then again, it's a crafting platform. <laughs> it's not a house to live in. And these doors are way too slow. When you're used to the S plus speed up behemoth gate things, this is uh would have put a drawbridge here that would have been twice as high. It looked ugly. Uh, as long as you don't build the, the rest of the castle. Nah. That's okay, it works. So, um hmm. Zoom 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 zoom. Also nerdy glasses. Or the builder's helmet. Oh yes. That looks good. <laughs> I like it. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon.